Yo, what's good? So on today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a blind command. Simply, it's where like you type blind in the player's username, and then it, it'll blind the player. Pretty simple and stuff like that, right? Stuff. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right. So first things first is go ahead and let's get the blind effect ready. Let's go ahead over to lighting and let's insert a color correction effect right this is pretty much like an overlay color that will overlay the player's screen so it's like a tint pretty much so we're going to just go ahead and make the tint black right and then you could just disable it by default right you could call it color correction i'm going to rename it to blind effect right then we're also going to need a remote event in replicated storage so let's insert a remote event and we can call it blind event then let's insert a server script into server script service and let's also insert a local script into starter player uh, scripts so let's open starter player then insert a local script into starter player scripts right and you guys can name the local script uh let's see let's see uh blind local i guess yeah blind script local I guess we'll go with that, right? You guys can delete print hello world. We can go ahead and knock out uh, the local script portion because it's literally like three lines. Let's go ahead and knock this out. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to make a variable local blind event is equal to game replicated storage dot blind event, right? And you're gonna say blind event dot on client event colon connect function close parentheses enter, right? You're gonna also want to make another variable that I forgot to make. So we're gonna press enter. Then we're going to do local blind effect is equal to game dot lighting dot blind effect, right? And simply you're going to say blind effect dot enabled is equal to true. And this will make it so the player sees the color, but only that specific player. Hence why we're using a local script and our mode event and stuff, right? Now, if you guys just wanted to have a command where you blind the entire server and stuff like that, um, then you would what's it called you could just keep it you could actually just keep it to one server script you wouldn't even need a local script or a remote event you could still do it that way but you wouldn't need it though let's delete print hello world and let's get the server script portion set up so let's rename the script to blind script server so the vice versa of the local script i guess right and then let's do the same let's get a variable blind i mean blind event we could copy and paste this over and we're going to do game dot players that player added colon connect function in parentheses or close parentheses sorry no sorry I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about I'm sorry guys in parentheses we're gonna put PLR which is short for player right we're also gonna have a table up here and I'm sorry I'd be like I, I type and then like I forget that like we gotta have this so I end up going back a lot but anyway so we're gonna go up here and we're going to have our table full of like we'll say staff members or allowed uh, players who can use this command so local allowed users equally we have a table right so you just put your username along with whoever else you want to use this command so i'll just put my username right if you guys want to uh, do multiple you just do comma then you just keep going from there right but yeah so we're going to pretty much say player dot chatted colon connect function and print you can put msg which is sort of for the message the player sent right then we're going to say if player dot name I mean, sorry, if table.find, then we're going to put the table allowed users. I don't know why I did that. Allowed users, comma, player, dot, name, right? If table.find, then pretty much we are going to proceed with the command. We're going to, we're going to break up the message by saying a local first word is equal to string dot sub parentheses message comma one and i think it's i believe it's six yeah i think it's six because it should be if first word is equal to blind so yeah one yeah six okay yeah okay then then we're gonna do second word or not you could do you could call it second word or just player's username i guess so we'll do local player name is equal to string dot sub parentheses message and you're going to do eight right and then just leave that there and then you're going to do for i comma v in pairs g 
game dot players calling get children then enter and you're gonna say if v dot name is equal to player name then blind event fire client make sure you do fire client not fire all clients right then we're going to fire their motive just for that one player and then boom it will then do this and we've done it all right let's go ahead and test this and it will only do this for that one specific player not the entire server so let's do blind by j19 wait, wait, wait what oh, oh i'm sorry i'm sorry guys see i know if you're gonna do something my fault guys my fault make sure you put v here make sure you put v sorry, sorry my fault. we literally forgot that one part that's crazy one i can't believe it one letter but anyway Blind spy J19 and boom, there you go. As you guys can see, I am blinded, but only just me, not the server. Just, just me. The server, you know, it would look like this, but just me. But yeah. Oh well, if you're wondering why the effect is disabled, it's because I just disabled it on the server, so it pretty much overrided what we did, and then yeah. But anyway, that's to make a blind command and stuff like that. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys once again for 700 subscribers. I know by the time you guys are watching this, we're probably at like 7.30 or something. But at but the day I'm recording this video, we just hit 700. So yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support y'all been showing. And stuff like that. The scripts will be found in the description. As well as links to join my Roblox group on Discord. Y'all should for sure join my Roblox group. We're about to hit 50 members. And the Discord, we're at like 125 members, I believe. But yeah, y'all should for sure join. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys.